Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins with a Combat Radio. And today we're looking at the 40th birthday of Tommy Hearns' ascent to World Championship. Dang, dang, dang. And that was his 40th, 40 years to die. Happened on the 2nd of August, was it 1980, when he beat Pepe Cuivas to earn the WBA welterweight strap. Boom, boom, boom. And this was his, his ascent 40 years ago today. Let's just catch the splendor. Catch the splendor. Boom. Boom, boom. So we just celebrate it. Too often, too many times, we forget about those great moments. Some of you may have never have seen this, but that's why you tuned in to Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. We don't forget what others have forgotten. Tommy Hearns, Pino Cuivas, 1980. So I thought to myself, well, when did he finish? Well, I was just not. I was just looking through. I was just looking through to remind myself of some of the guys he fought, some of the top names he fought, like Sugar Ray Leonard. The top names, Wilfredo Benitez. Incredible, incredible fighter. Roberto Duran. Marvin Hagler fought Doug DeWitt. Don't, don't underestimate Doug DeWitt. Some people are probably sniggering. Why did he say Doug DeWitt? Why did he say Doug DeWitt? Hey, calm down. Dennis Andres. That was the light heavyweight title. And he, and he won it too. Ray Leonard again. Iron Barkley knew his way around the ring. Virgil Hill knew his way around the ring. And uh, kept on going and going and going and going and going until I came to his last fight in 2006. And that led me to question, well, what was the date of his first fight? So we scrolled down and found it was 1977. The man <laughs> had a career that spanned 30 damn years. 30 damn years. Now, let's get this right. If you have a career where you become a multiple world champion, multi-weight, multiple world champion, you've got some of the top handlers in the game, there is no way that you should be in the ring for 29 years as a professional. I don't see it, not in this day and age, not with what we know about brain injury. And uh, unfortunately, when you hear him talk, or you see him walk, you know that he is unfortunately brain impaired. But how could you not be brain impaired if you had, if you spent 30 damn years in the professional ring? It's beyond belief. 2006, that's when he stopped. 1977 is 29 damn years. OMG. Why was Tommy Hearns in the ring for 30 damn years? It's Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. It's to have your say. It's the happy 40th anniversary. Should have got out of the ring quicker. It's Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. And I'm out. <laughs>